All right, what up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, Queen returns to the channel. Our uh, video, uh, finally watching Queen's Live Aid performance, is the top video on the channel, and it's made prop. It's made us probably the most friends, and it just comes to show the power of music and great performers. The way it brings us all together, and all of us have such vastly different backgrounds. It's just amazing. Lo and behold, my barber, his name's Vic. Everyone in the comments say what's up to Vic. Even though we're kind of mad at Vic, I, I invited him uh, to come watch a tool with me tonight, but he, he's not making it. But Vic is a, a big Queen fan. If you put, if you follow his Instagram uh, page, I'm gonna you know link it in the description. You're gonna see he has a lot of Queen memorabilia there. Like he's a Queen fan. So as he was cutting my hair the last time, I was like, dude, what's what's like a performance of of, of Freddie Mercury's? Because what I'm falling in love with is Freddie Mercury and the entire band live. He said. In the lap of the gods and he sent me this very sp this specific video that i have to check out everyone is saying this is like one of their underrated songs but they believe one of their best songs they just didn't make it too mainstream seems like this song is at the end of this performance so and we know just how energetic freddie is so let's see how he performs at the end of a show the way he performs if you're new here welcome if you've been here for a while, thank you. You know, the usual, you know, YouTuber asks and, and gratitudes are around. If you if you uh, hit like and subscribe and also in the description down below, you can find other ways to to sponsor videos, to help out the channel, support the channel, keep the lights on or just other ways to to interact. All right, Freddie, take me there like you've taken me so many times, bro. Thanks a lot. You seem really like a party here tonight. Thanks a lot for making you really something for us. It's felt a lot different. Hmm. You know, we've taken our show around hey. the world, but we've never got to so many people all at once. And it's felt really good. Thanks a lot for giving us a good year. We'd like to leave you in the lap of the gods. We could just, the, just that gratitude, man, right? Let's fix that. It's so easy. But I can't do it It's so risky But I got a chance It's so funny There's nothing to laugh about My money uh. That's all you want to talk about I can't see What you want me to be Oh, that's beautiful This is verse two. Dude, when the band came in, oh my God. Just like ecstasy, bro. Just that dopamine release feels so good. They are so flawless performing live, dude. And again, this is earlier in their career, so they've just always been incredibly talented. Yeah, I've never heard of this song. It's fantastic. Seems to be a love song. And for some reason, the lyrics that I'm reading here, it's, uh, do you guys remember in Dead Poets Society? There's this, uh, one of the young men there, right? He's a hopeless romantic and poetry is helping him uncover and discover that in himself. And he's in, he's in love with a girl and he goes and, and, and professes his love for her. Confident as all get out, yet at the same time, he's not afraid of seeming like a fool doing so. And he leaves. And he gets back to the school and his classmates are like, what happened? What happened? What did she say? And he said, doesn't matter. That surrender to let the universe, to let, to let God, whatever, like whatever that is, that trust that by just being bold in life, I'll leave it up. I'll leave it in the lap of the gods. What so well, I think that's what the song is about, but that, but that's what I'm thinking of. Mm. Believe me, life goes on and on and on. Forgive me when I ask you where do I belong. You say I can never set you free. Wow. But that's not true. 
Dude, that's so good! It's so good! There's his commanding presence. It's breathtaking, really. Are they gonna do something else? Cause like, we just have the crowd chanting for like an entire minute here. What's gonna happen? I feel like something's gonna happen. Okay, th it's a blow up doll, thank goodness. I, I, <laughs> I was like, did I just see someone, co did I just see someone commit suicide or something? I don't think I'm allowed to say that word on, on YouTube, shoot. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty great, man. That's pretty great. Listen to the crowd, listen to them. <laughs> the freak. <laughs> yes. Look at them, dude. They are just on such a high right now. Okay, so I also got to say, Brian May and his guitar playing is one of my favorite rock guitar playing ever. His use of like single note instead of just chords the entire time to make it more melodic. You can sing all of his riffs, even though Freddie's also singing beautiful melodies. The melodies he's playing on the guitar are just fantastic. But what I love is just how melodic the guitar playing is while backing up the melodic singing. It feels orchestra-like. What does the internet say about his playing? Dude, I just found this article that's expressing it exactly what I'm trying to say. In addition to having a unique tone, one which is not easy to emulate, probably due to, you know, the fact that he built that guitar, um, he also has a very lyrical style of playing. Lyrical, that's a very good, well great way to put it as beautiful as the mel the singing melody is what i can't get out of my head is his guitar playing is it's the melody that he was playing i want i'm gonna check out um on the car in the car on my way to work the uh the original but as i go through the comments here most people are expressing that uh, they love the live version more of this song i feel like i'm starting to take for granted just how good freddie mercury is because i just as i think through the singing it's unbelievable. What went through my mind is also like, does his overbite, right? Does like the positioning of his jaw and everything, is that aiding in this just miraculous tone and sound that he has? Doesn't matter. To me, uh, all of us are gonna have different, you know, opinions for things like this, but I think he's the GOAT, man. Especially for rock and roll singers. For me, he's the he's the greatest. Rest in peace. Oh, and this was uh Christmas Eve when they played this. Cool. Well, guys, uh, thank you for hanging out. Would love to hear your thoughts on some of these, th these things we talked about. Do you like the original more, the live version more? Why? And uh, what more Queen and Freddie Mercury should we check out? Vic, thank you for the suggestion. Freaking awesome song. Much love, everybody. Till the